Euler's equation. It is one of the very important derivatives, derivations in calculus of variation part. In examination asking a necessary condition for i equal integral x1 to x2 f of x comma y comma y dash into dx to be an extremum is that dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash equal 0 either asking this type or derive the Euler's equation in the form dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f divided by dou y dash equal 0 both the types we are asking but solution is same proof let i be an extremum along the curve y equal yx joining the points a of x1 comma y1 comma b of x2 comma y2 as shown in the figure let y equal y of x plus g into eta of x equation 1 be the neighboring curve joining these two points eta of x1 equal 0 at point a and eta of x2 equal 0 at point b this is equation 2 when g is small comma g equals 0 and i an extremum along equation 1 that is i equals integral x1 to x2 f of x comma y of x plus g into eta of x comma y dash of x plus g into eta dash of x into dx this being a function of g is a maximum or minimum for g equal 0 when differentiation of i with respect to g is equal to 0 at g equal 0 this is equation 3 differentiating i under the integral sign by using Leibniz rule we have di by dg equals integral of x1 to x2 dou by dou g into f of x comma y of x plus g of x comma y dash of x plus g into eta dash of x into dx di by dg is equal to integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou x into dou x by dou g plus dou f by dou y into dou y by dou g plus dou f by dou y dash into dou y dash divided by dou g into dx but g is being an independent of x dou x by dou g is always equal to 0 also consider the equation 1 and differentiate with respect to x therefore y dash is equal to y dash of x plus g into eta dash of x this is equation 5 also from equation 1 dou y by dou g is equal to eta of x and equation 5 dou by dou y dash divided by dou g is equal to eta dash of x Substitute these two values in equation 4 we get di by dg is equal to integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou y into eta of x into dx plus flower bracket dou f by dou y dash into eta of x close the bracket or the limit upper limit x1 to x2 lower limit minus integral of x1 to x2 into eta of x into d by dx of dou f divided by dou y dash into dx this is equal to integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou y eta of x into dx plus again we are substituting the upper limit and lower limit dou f by dou y dash into eta of x2 minus dou f by dou y dash into eta of x1 minus integral of x1 to x2 eta of x into d by dx of dou f by dou y dash into dx but eta of x1 is equal to 0 this is equal to eta of x2 from equation 2 and by combining the two integrals into a single one di by dg is equal to integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f divided by dou y dash we close the bracket into eta of x into dx for i to be an extremum at g equal 0 when di by dg is always equal to 0 therefore rhs must be 0 full stop since eta of x is an arbitrary we have dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equal to 0 which is the desired euler's equation
second problem the necessary condition for the functional i equal integral of x1 to x2 f of x comma y comma y dash into dx to be an extremum show that delta into i is equal to 0 proof let i be an extremum along some curve y equal y of x passing through point a of x1 comma y1 and b of x2 comma y2 as shown in figure also let y is equal to y of x plus g into eta of x equation 1 be the neighboring curve where g is small joining these points so that we must have eta of x1 equal 0 at point a and eta of x2 equal 0 at point b when g is equal to 0 these two curves coincides thus making i an extremum that is i is equal to integral of x1 to x2 f of x comma y of x plus g into eta of x comma y dash of x plus g into eta dash of x into dx is an extremum when g equals 0. This requires di by dg differentiation of i with respect to g is equal to 0 when g is equal to 0 treating i to be a function of g. Using Leibniz rule for the differentiation under the integral sign, we have di by dg is equal to integral of x1 to x2 dou by dou g into f of x comma y of x plus g into eta of x comma y dash of x plus g into eta dash of x into dx. Applying chain rule for the partial derivatives in right hand side of the equation, we have di by dg is equal to integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou x into dou x divided by dou g plus dou f by dou y into dou y divided by dou g plus dou f by dou y dash into dou y dash divided by dou g into dx. This is equation 2. But g is independent of x and hence dou x by dou g is always equal to 0. Let us consider equation 1 and differentiate with respect to x. Therefore, y dash equal y dash of x plus g into eta dash of x. This is equation 3. Also, we have from equation 1, dou y by dou g is equal to eta of x. And from 3, dou y dash divided by dou g is equal to eta dash of t. Using these results in equation 2, we have dou i by dou g is equal to integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou y into eta of x plus dou f by dou y dash into eta dash of x into dx. This is equation 4. We have delta i into equals delta i is equal to delta into integral of x1 to x2 f of x comma y comma y dash into dx. Since delta and integral are commutative with each other, we have delta i is equal to integral of x1 to x2 delta into f of x comma y comma y dash into dx. Using the expression for the variation of function f being delta f in the right hand side of the equation, we have delta i equals integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou y into delta y plus dou f by dou y dash into delta y dash into dx. But delta y is equal to g into eta of x and delta y dash is equal to g into eta dash of x. Therefore, delta i is equal to integral of x1 to x2 delta f divided by delta y into g into eta of x plus delta f divided by delta y dash into g into eta dash of x into dx. That is delta i is equal to g into integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou y into eta of x plus dou f by dou y dash into eta dash of x into dx. That is delta i is equal to g into di by dg using equation 4. But di by dg is equal to 0 when g is equal to 0 is a necessary condition for i to be an extremum. Thus, delta i is equal to 0 represents the necessary condition for the function i to be an extremum. That is, delta i equals g into integral of x1 to x2 dou f by dou y into eta of x plus dou f by dou y dash into eta dash of x into dx. 
that is delta i is equal to g into di by dg by equation 4 but di by dg is equal to 0 when g is equal to 0 is a necessary condition for i to be an extremum thus delta i equals 0 also represents the necessary condition for the functional i to be extremum hence the proof